Welcome back to the program. Ask yourself, have you got a beer belly? If you do, then it's time to do something to lose that tummy. Oh, exactly. It's not just for the looks, but more importantly for your health. And that's because when it comes to weight problems, it's not just how much fat you've got, but where it really matters. And people with visceral fat, also known as organ fat, are much more likely to develop health problems than those with normal body fat. That's right. And to tell us more about killer fat, we have Dr. Alvina Nam, who's in the studio with us this morning. Thank you for joining us. First of all, can you tell us exactly what is this uh, killer fat? Visceral fat. Mm -hmm. Visceral fat is actually the fat that's found in your abdomen, mm -hmm. right inside, packed in between the organs and around the organs, like the kidneys, the liver. And they're quite different from the subcutaneous fat that's really beneath your skin. Mm -hmm. um, the visceral fat is the one that gives a person the protruding abdomen and gives them a beer belly. Mm -hmm. And also the body shape like a pear instead okay. of the apple. Uh -huh. And what is so dangerous about visceral fat that we call it killer fat as opposed to, you know, the fat just beneath your skin? Well, they found that the visceral fat has been associated with the insulin resistance, which gives rise to diabetes coronary heart disease, high cholesterol, and high triglycerides level. Is it more difficult to get rid of than your um, normal fat? Yeah, possible. Yes, you probably need to exercise a little bit more. Um, normally, if you can do a brisk walk 30 minutes a day for one week, mm -hmm. you, you probably would reduce it a little bit. But if you do a little bit more than that, you can reduce it a little bit further. Now, are, are there certain groups of people who are more prone to such problem and, uh, and, and the risk involved? Or is it everybody, you know, pretty much uh, well, are susceptible? Generally, if a person is living a sedentary life mm -hmm. and is eating a diet that's high in saturated fat, they will always be prone to developing visceral fats. But the, there are certain groups of people who are much more prone to it. Men, for example, tends to accumulate weight around the abdomen. Mm. And women generally do not until they're after their menopause. Mm -hmm. then they start to develop fat around Ooh, the abdomen. Why is that? Is it the hormone levels that, play, uh, that comes right. into play? Uh -huh. That's right. Because when they reach a menopause, the female hormones start to reduce. Okay. And when that happens, they tend to adopt like almost like a male okay. body shape. So organ fat is uh, very dangerous, something that we should look out for. How do you know, you, I know, how, do you know how much fat you have? Well, the most accurate method is the MRI and the CT scan, okay. but mm -hmm. that really is quite impractical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can do simple measurements, waist circumference. Mm -hmm. For men, if they're more than 40 inches in, in waist circumference, that's too high. Mm -hmm. For female, be more than 35, or do a waist heat ratio. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, they do have equipment that's a bit more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Doctor, and we have yeah. like exactly. the Exactly, and <laughs> we're going to do a demo right here, and I'm right. going to put myself to the test okay. and uh, get on this uh, machine that we have here in the studio. <laughs> so, so all I have to do is to stand on the weighing machine. Yes. And yes. what do I do? Well, I would have key in your, mm -hmm. your basic details, That's like right. your age. And We've so already taken some uh, preliminary That's right. uh, measurements. That's right. And then you hold it up. Okay. And after a while, the, the figures will be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what, what is it showing and what is it? Am I healthy? Am I not healthy? <laughs> <laughs> well, your what visceral you fat <laughs> is 14%. Mm -hmm. Normally, it should not be above 9%. Oh, oh dear. So you're too high. <laughs> I'm too high. Okay, I, I should do something about that. <laughs> That's right. Okay. And how accurate um, is a machine like that? It's pretty accurate. They're going mm -hmm. by the bioelectrical impedance, so mm -hmm. taking account of the fact that fat tissues have much more resistance mm -hmm. compared to other tissues. Okay. So Okay, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Doctor, you said 14%. Is yes. that on the danger level? I mean, what's, uh, what's the range that we're looking at? Well, anything less than 9% is, is okay. Mm -hmm. 10 to 15% would just say it's moderately high. Mm -hmm. And more than 15%, I think that guy's got to be really careful. Mm -hmm. Does it say something exercise. about your diet, um, yes. lifestyle? That's right. A diet so, are usually high in saturated fat. So how can a person like me <laughs> <laughs> reduce visceral fat? Well, start exercising. Oh, well, obviously. <laughs> Doing your regular, at least 30 minutes of brisk walk every day for a week, mm -hmm. uh, every week. And also the diet, you've got to reduce on your hard fats, like mm -hmm. the butter and the lard. Some people mm. will ask, what about liposuction? 
A surgical procedure. Liposuction is, it does remove fat, but it removes subcutaneous fat. Okay, so it doesn't apply to fat. visceral fat. No. Okay, we're running out of time now. Thank you so much, Doctor, for coming in. Thank you, Dom, for being such a, uh, you know... Yeah, putting myself on the line and <laughs> telling the whole world, yes, I got to stick yes. to my New Year's resolution. Well, we've been talking to uh, Dr. Alvina Nam on the dangers of visceral fat and how you can uh, uh, try and uh, reduce that. And, uh, the risk, for, for your mm -hmm. sake of your health. Okay, coming up next after the break,